Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> and here I was thinking that Ariok would wipe the floor with you, but you did that to him. And we're gonna do the same to Dante's. You better stay out of our way, Melchior. Of course, of course. Just pretend like I'm invisible. I will merely serve as an idle spectator. I wouldn't dream of spoiling the boss's big moment. Though I do wish I could join in on the fun. I'd love to grab the neck of that wretched vermin who called that airship and give a nice long squeeze. <laughs> Worry not, Melchior. The passengers will have the distinct honor of witnessing their homes, families, and friends explode before their very eyes. All they can do is watch helplessly from above as their former lives go up in flames. I can hardly imagine a more perfect gift of fear. <laughs> you bastard! Does your wickedness know no bounds? We didn't come here to chat the night away, asshole. We came here to beat the shit out of you. Are you just gonna sit on that dumbass throne and hurl cheap taunt after cheap taunt? No, no. We will hold our battle momentarily. And after the victor is determined, the final judgment will be passed. There's the nuclear weapon. So that's what it looks like. It is still incomplete, so there is no need to fear. Too much. It cannot be detonated. Well, at least, not without this key. That's the sword we saw in Dingo's video. Just the sight of it is sending chills down my spine. Not surprising. It is a deadly blade. It's holy and demonic in nature. Its existence was a closely guarded secret of the royal family of Calvert. After the kingdom fell, the church attempted to recover it, but no trace of it was ever found. So how in the goddess's name did you come into possession of a Peron, the sword of divine darkness? So that is what it's called. Wait, why are we only hearing about this now? This sword has become something of a legend. I understand why you were shocked to see this in my hands. Allow me to enlighten you. This very blade was passed down to me. I had the right of its inheritance. I was born by the name of Gerard Eldarion. I am a descendant of the royalty that once ruled Calvert. Therefore, both it and the throne are rightfully mine. You must be curious as to how a descendant of the royal family still lives and stands before you. That is because I was taken into the care of a cult that is now extinct. <laughs> the DG cult! They were one of the groups that went on to become the Gardens, after spreading chaos across the Republic. Oh boy! The Oathbreaker must have spilled the tea on that! Yes, the Gardens can trace its roots back to the cult. As well as the Order of the Moonlight Horse, which he and I once belonged to. Then he ran off to the Society with the Golden Butterfly and another ex-member, leaving seven-year-old me in the dust all the while. But he did tell me I could make my very own Garden of Killers, and oh, did I very much enjoy doing so. As a result of my efforts, I met the Emperor, herded the remnants of the cult, became acquainted with Arioke and Olympia, and most important of all, found our wonderful boss shortly after he assumed control of Almada. I met a descendant of Calvardian royalty, and a former high priest of the DG cult. How could I perceive it as anything but a fortuitous twist of fate? So what exactly are you all trying to accomplish here? Are you attempting to restore the Republic's monarchy? Or are you following in the footsteps of the cult? <clears throat> Neither. 
I care nothing for the country's revolution 100 years ago, nor do I care about the increasing number of immigrants welcomed through its doors. And I will not leech off the teachings of the cult like a parasite, as my parents once did. I'm afraid those things bring me no fulfillment whatsoever. I am not the kind of man who obsesses over past glories, nor do I desire to rebel against the goddess. Everything that drives a human being to action, friendship, work, envy, love, all of it holds no meaning. Just an endless source of frivolity and tedium. So I sought a diversion, a reprieve from this vapid world. And I found just the answer I was looking for. The ultimate source of reprieve. Fear. <laughs> you cannot deny that our neighbors in the Erebonian Empire prospered greatly as a result of conflict. And much like conflict, fear is a fundamental component of human nature. Life, death. Order and chaos can only exist because of fear. It is at the heart of everything, the foundation upon which all else exists. Once I learned that, I began my lifelong pursuit to seek out fear in its purest form and instill it in everyone. You're one sick piece of shit, you know that? So that's why you were drawn to the concept of nuclear weapons. And you got Professor Callahan wrapped up in your web of lies. Indeed. And he created a wondrous work of art. But alas, it just isn't good enough on its own. As a weapon, it's too unstable. And it won't leave a permanent mark on the world. Even if we were to take the lives of everyone in this city. People will be dismayed for a time, but, like with the Salt Pale and Retributive Tower incidents, they will forget and move on. And that is what led me to the idea of this carnival. It is the birthplace for the ultimate fear, one that will fester inside every human being for the rest of their lives. Now, I grow weary of idle chatter. Shall we begin our duel to the death? Sounds good to me. You are so going down! This'll be tough, but we can't afford to lose. We also can't afford to be reckless. I'm almost certain he's up to something. True, but we've still got to pull out all the stops against him, or we're done for. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going full throttle from the get-go. Mare! <laughs> Mare! Hey, Van. Hope you're ready to... Huh? Uh, yeah. Ready to go. Um, okay. Shardswell, the Grendel's all yours! <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, there it is. I was wondering if you would pull the same trick again. So that must be your nightmare, then. What? What just... Uh, ah! Mare! Something's interfering with her AI. Mare Bear, snap out of it! She vanished! The hell did you do to her? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you still have your restraints, do you not? You should focus less on her and more on the battle at hand. I wonder how this will play out. Will I fall prey to your nightmare? Or will you be consumed by my fear? <sighs> Here goes! Alright. Let's
Let's see just what you can do. Got it! There. Shadow Fire. Pathetic. So Get much for me. Take me. Got you. You're screwed now. Transmitting code. Hmm. Now we're talking. Activating skill. Silver wing. Right. Cower before me. I've seen better. Deploying shield. <laughs> On your knees! Here's our chance! The rest is up to you. Leave this to me. Accessing. Accessing. Initialize! Uh, 
Is that all? Oh, I could do better. Oh, I am far from done. <laughs> Is that all your precious nightmare can do? How pathetic. Surveillance system, adjust parameters. Set the game's end time to exactly three minutes from now. Once the timer hits zero, throw a pair on an eye against the bomb. Oh no! Not good. Didn't see that coming. Mock me! <laughs> I was right all along. I found it. Seems my work here is now done. I'll see it to you right away. <sighs> Don't worry. My injuries aren't that bad. Nothing like what he has. Didn't really have much of a choice at the end there. <sighs> of course you didn't! That was self-defense, pure and simple. Son of a bitch practically held a gun to our heads. Yeah, if you didn't do that, he would have killed us and all of the people in Arasion. The final boss, Dante's, has been defeated. Zone clear. Congratulations, Team Arkride Solutions. You have won the game. <sighs> Don't worry. It'll take more than a little fall to detonate it. So it's finally over. Right? I believe so. The game at least is fit. That's right. This marks the end of the greatest party in history. Ah. <sighs> Even in death, you shine so beautifully, boss. You died with the grace of an angel. But you were also as selfish as a devil till your dying breath. How could you walk the road to hell by yourself? and leave me to wallow in misery. Though I suppose that's part of why I fell for you in the first place. You're free to join him any time, bud. The jig is up, Melchior. We beat your stupid game, and your organization is toast. Why don't you surrender and come quietly? That sword only answers to those it deems worthy. You will not be able to use it to detonate the bomb. Of course. That was never in the cards. But I figure I can whip up a nice little fireworks show to commemorate the life of my dear boss. <gasps> Explosive artifacts! <laughs> I scattered them all throughout the palace just in case it all shook out like this. If you wish to make it out alive, you better get moving. I hope to see you alive and well at our next meeting. Adieu! Damn it! We've got to book it! Let's go! We gotta grab the Genesis and the bomb! Right! You can leave that to me! Thank you! Ariok's armor! But there isn't anyone inside! The Fangs of Rahu has a mind of its own. 
It craves fresh sacrifices, and it will get what it desires. Master or no master. <laughs> what? You're pulling my leg, right? It's not going to let us past, is it? Duh. We really don't got time for this shit right now. Then we'll deal with it for you. Oh! Impeccable timing, you two. We came as soon as we heard the game was over. Collecting artifacts is kind of our thing. So, you can leave this to us. Well, wait! But this place is about to collapse! Don't worry. We have an escape route already laid out. You have our thanks, but don't dawdle in this place for long. Not another step. It's payback time, Fangs of Rahu. Let's do this, Leon! Right. Searing seal of mine, shining from the abyss. Glacial seal of mine. Shining from the abyss! That's where we came in from! How do we get out now? Over there! There's fire here, too! Ugh, where's the convenient exit when you need it? This way'll do. It leads to the watchtower on the castle walls. All right, you guys. Get ready to jump! Jump?! What?! You're insane! Oh no! Why in the hell did you think that was a good idea? You're some kind of maniac. Maniac or not, we're alive. So, yeah, I think it was a solid plan. My attempt to soften our landing with shards proved successful. <sighs> I wish you remembered that some of us aren't the athletic type. That was awesome! It felt like we were acting out the climax of a movie or something. <laughs> as long as everyone is alive and well, I won't complain. It's finally over. Yeah, we've closed the books on this case. Though we still have plenty of work ahead of us, and the lives Almada stole will never be returned. But I think we've paid back the debt we owed those people, and then some. For now, that's good enough for me. I was finally able to avenge my bros. Yeah, I hope Ida's smiling from up above. Maybe the people of Basel can rest easy now. Is everyone okay? It looks like they're all in one piece at least. Ren! Elaine! Marielle! Here comes the welcome wagon. Wait, what happened to Shizuna and Kurogane? They were just here a moment ago. <laughs> Disappeared the moment they finished their job. That's Shinobi for you. It's been a while since I had that much fun. And if we take the timetable of our main contract into account, I'd say this wild ride's barely gotten started. Indeed. Everything hinges on the President's future orders. We have disposed of the boat and can retreat at any time. Okay then, let's skedaddle. See you around, Spriggan.
You didn't do half bad for a dropout. I'm afraid I'll require a little more proof before I accept that he is worthy of our time and trust. Anyway, what should we do from here? We were unable to recover those artifacts. Oh, don't remind me. Guess I ought to hit up the CID's chief and see what our next move is. I suppose we can call this a job well done. Indeed. We met all of the objectives that were issued to us by the President. However, our main AI's predicted danger level remains the same. It should have changed by now, but it's still showing as yellow. We must remain vigilant as we wait for the grand reveal next month. Most of our primary objectives have been accomplished. However, I regret to inform you that the Overseer of the Thorns managed to escape. I must also apologize about the matter related to the Dark Blue Core. We have already begun pursuit of the former target, and we will expand our search radius for the latter. Everything will be taken care of, Captain. Those are impressive results. Then I'll update your rank. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> That's just about perfect. It is an honor.